camouflage is still under wraps under a polythene cover but he's got the black painted he finished it late last night like that they're, they're going to be taking the polythene off we can have a better look Keith's working on the French wing, NX664. Did you get all your three ribs completed? Yeah, near enough. The, at the stage we're all... We need fat lid now. Yeah. Just trying to line everything up because it's so bent and distorted. Nothing lines up. Was this skin okay, the underneath skin you were saying the other day? That one? Oh, no, it was a part of probably going to replace that skin. The holes are too big on it. Yeah. Some of them are nearly a quarter of an inch. Yeah, they are down here, aren't they? Oh, oh down there they are. Yeah. That's, that's what they're supposed to be there. Oh, I see. Because that's where the um, closing panel goes on. Yeah. Between the, the, the two wings. inner wing and the outer wing. Yeah. Polythene off up there, leave that for the painter. No, he's not coming back in, so I'll take it off. He's been busy. When will you be putting this on the trailer then? When the trailer's ready. I oh, want it ready. Yeah. Well, the other one is ready. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Christmas undoing your presents. Christmas at each good, yeah. yeah. job is to get this one onto its bomb trolley. Yeah. Yeah. That's not ready yet. Well, we don't think it's ready, no, we'll go and check next. Yeah. <laughs> You're all 
always sneaking panels on when I'm not watching. We've had to mount them a bit lower because yeah. the structure is different inside yeah. the Canadian one to the Jim, yeah. so it's it, like one frame lower. But, yeah. And what's the name of the pigeon? Reginald, apparently. Reginald, right. <laughs> okay. And what about the door? Does it close? It does, yeah. And it even latches back, as you can see, the day to day is today. Oh. Is it um, a good fit, a bad fit? It's, it's not bad, it needs the... It's got the wooden trim, I think, it's there. You've taken that's that? Off, yeah, that's off Jane. Oh, that's off Jane, is it? Yeah. Yes. So, we're going to... He's going to trim this down um, to make it fit, because when Jane's going to have um, a nice piece of ash wood to, oh, to surround it, so... We're gonna, you can use it. Yeah, we're going to trim this down to, to make it fit. Latches onto that, and you can probably see it from the outside. Yeah, you can probably see the fit. fit. No, I'll do one from the inside then. Um, but obviously, these are surround going there, there, so which day we're going to do next week, or well, tomorrow, yeah. maybe even tomorrow. Actually. What will? Dave, Dave's coming in tomorrow, so he's going to carry on doing the. Surround. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. But it, it's not a bad fit, so. No, I'll have a look at the other. Yeah, can, that's where the wooden frame goes. And it goes along the bottom as well, there's a gap, isn't yeah, there? So it's, not, it's, not it's great, it. yeah. Oh, you can open it up again then, Dave. Huh? Yeah. Well Phil, done. Phil was mightily relieved when it fitted, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah but you did a good job of that. Yeah. Have you got the trailer made for this yet, the fuselage? There's bits of angle have just come in today. Um, on the bench there. Yeah, this is what we're waiting for, these, these, angles, these bits oh, of angle have come yes, in. Yeah. So it needs mounting on yet, but that, that's, that's, yeah. that's the next job. We've got to do drill and um, screw it yeah, in. And then it goes in, and then these, I think these plates sit over the... Right, for the adjustment. Yeah. <clears throat> the next two minutes of video was shot by Jacob with assistance from Terry. Terry is a Just Jane supporter. Shows Jacob working on removing part of the tailplane with a gun. Hi Nev. Uh, so today we're disconnecting the uh, control rods to the back end of the fuselage to be able to remove the fins, rudders and tailplanes. Um, I've just taken out the first split, split pin and um, now I'm going to be undoing the bolts and uh, disconnecting these rods from each other. We've disconnected the um, control rod for the elevator in front of the tailplane. We now have to disconnect it where it connects here to the balance tube. Here we are in uh, the rear fuselage where the rear turret sits and uh, we're now just disconnecting the other end of the rod um, from this control lever which connects to the torque tube um, and the torque tube then goes out to the um, through the tailplane to connect to the elevators.
Hi Nev. This is the uh, <laughs> control rod connections for the elevator and rudder at the transportation joint. Uh, I've disconnected the elevator one and I'm just about to remove the split pin to uh, take out the bolt that holds the rudder control rods together at the eye end. Hi Nev, here we are in the rear, rear fuselage and um, I've just been disconnecting the rudder control rods that go from inside the tailplane here out to the starboard and port rudders. Um, these are both now disconnected and will move away. Um, next thing is to take this bolt off. Um, that holds the two linkages together and then when we take the fins off the uh, rods will be able to be taken out. Reposition this thing. <laughs> I need some longer rivets for that one. Well, I had one uh, comment said when you were doing the. I know what you're going to ask. And, and you it, yeah. Yeah. Well, the reasoning behind that is when we're, we're, all we're doing is clearance running it, so we're taking like a few thou out. Yeah. Does it cause any burns then? Not, not really, so you know, but I mean, if you've got like three or four skins, you clear and it anyway, you, you yeah. can't deburr the skins in between anyway if it's all connected together, so yeah. it, it takes very minimal out. Yeah. It's, it's something I've never done. No. It, it deburred previously, then it's just a clear and the right. that goes in. Because I suppose with the deburr, it, you actually put a chamfer on the hole, don't you? Yeah. Like yeah, to fit yeah, a screw, yeah. a so tapered it's a screw. It's a clearance drill. So the clearance drill might not even cut through the chamfer. No, no. So yeah. That's, that's what we have is clearance drill. Yeah. Is. Oh, you read that, did you? I read that. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's riveting the step to part of the fuselage floor before skimping in this section into place. Then clearance hole drilling before riveting.
Weak test. Yeah. Sorry. I think most people just sit on it like this anyway when they're taxiing, don't they? Yeah. Sorry, I haven't been answering your comments just lately. Hope to be up to date in the new year. Hi, this is my last visit to East Kirby in 2022. So I will see you in the new year. And um, thanks for watching and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone. Bye for now.